G'day guys and welcome back to another video on my channel, Nintendo Down Under. That's right, behind me is our massive, massive Nintendo Switch collection. We've got consoles, we've got games, we've got controllers, accessories, so much more. Today's video, we're going to go through everything we have and how exactly I can afford to have it. Let's go! Rightio, so, my Nintendo Switch collection. I've got lots of consoles, lots of controllers, all different colors, and lots and lots and lots of games. So, you're probably wondering, why do I have so many Nintendo Switches? Well, the first answer is, I'm a collector. I collect Nintendo, I collect Nintendo Switch, so I have lots of them. Why do I have doubles of some? Well. I'll go through it very quickly. This Nintendo Switch here, I won on a radio competition ages ago. So that's why I have two of those. This one down the bottom here was donated by a friend when he didn't want it anymore. He knew I was a collector. Great by him. He gave me that for free. That's fantastic. Uh, one of the neon uh, Nintendo Switches is actually just a display box. So I don't actually have two of them. And the one down the bottom is mine original from launch day. The Nintendo Switch lights. They came out last week. And no, I did not go to the shops and donate, or donate, drop $1,000 to pay for these, around about. The, the, how I did it. When they were announced, I went and pre-ordered every single, obviously, Switch Lite, um, so I could get it day one and do an unboxing for you guys. How I did that. Every week, I went to my game store and I paid off 50 bucks. The next week another 50 bucks. The next week another 50 bucks. I had an old broken washing machine. I sold that for 100 bucks. Bang! Straight into the Nintendo Switch lights. I went to Fiji last summer, had some Fiji money left over, converted it back to Australian. Bang! Put that on my Switch lights. I had an old toaster, sold that, bang, on my Switch lights. I had my birthday the other month and I dropped a lot of my birthday money on the Switch lights. Not heaps of it, but some of it. So when I actually came to Friday, when I grabbed these Nintendo Switch lights, I only had to pay $70 for all three. That's nothing. That's budgeting. That's doing it smart. That's how I do a lot of my stuff. I've already pre-ordered the next Switch light, uh, Luigi's Mansion, the next Joy-Con uh, colors. They're all pre-ordered, and I'll continue to go to my local game store and pay down $50 on the day. I don't have to pay anything or hardly any. That's being smart because it's irresponsible to go to the shops and say, hey, I'm going to buy all this crap, here's $1,000. I've got a house to look after. I've got a family to look after, um, bills to pay. That's not being responsible, I'm um, just dropping money like that. With some of my special editions. Yes, I think my Super Mario Odyssey one, I pay that full price on the day. Wasn't being smart there, didn't pre-order it. Well, I did pre-order it, but I didn't pay it off. I don't do that anymore. With some of these other switches, um, yes, oh, I did the same thing. Um, found money in different means, um, you know, worked hard, sacrificed a few things to pay for these on the day. Had to pay some money, but not heaps. That's how I do it. We'll move on to my controllers. These four controllers, they're really cool, but I got them for Christmas, so I didn't have to pay a cent for them. Really awesome. My friends, my family, no one a collector. So they helped me get things. These four Pokemon controllers right here. I got these for my birthday from my friends just gone. And some of these other colored controllers, have come out at different stages. So I've got a couple here and there when they're on sales, end of EB game sales and target giveaways and end of financial years. You can find some of this stuff really cheap. And that's when you gotta be smart about it. Um, you don't need a brand new controller on day one. You can get it eventually. Some of these games, if you really want a game like Smash Bros, Odyssey, Zelda, you actually have to pay on the day big time. But other like title fillers that I haven't even really opened, they're just there because I found them cheap, you just wait for sales and you get them then. You don't go silly going full price on games that aren't crash hot, aren't that great, um, are definitely going to go on sale. So you be smart there. Like this 2K uh, WWE bloody wrestling game, that sold for like a couple of dollars in Target. I was never going to get it on day one, but it was over a, you know, a year and a half old, and they just wanted it cleared out. So that's when you'd be smart to add to your collection. Um, we'll move down to the bottom here. Uh, got my Nintendo Labos. Um, they were really cheap to get because they didn't do that well. So um, they dropped in price really fast, and you could got good deals in them. Never opened them. 
um, and my Bayonetta Special Edition was also purchased for me uh, for a gift as well. So yes, I've paid money for obviously a lot of this stuff, but I've been smart how I've done it. I haven't dropped big amounts. I've got friends, I've got family to help me. I was really lucky with the gray switch to win that in a competition. Um, so there's plenty of ways to do things by being smart. Yes, you have to work hard and be patient and spend some of your own money. But at the same time, you've got friends, you've got family. Um, and you've got other ways to pay things off to be responsible with your money. This isn't absolutely everything in my Nintendo Switch collection. I've got like a Super Mario Odyssey standee, which is quite big, which I didn't bring out. I've got heaps of posters that my local game store give me when they're done with them, displaying games. And obviously we got lots and lots of Amiibos that came out with these games but I haven't really brought them out as well because I haven't really got the room to display it. And plus, um, it's not exactly Nintendo Switch. It's more of a Nintendo item accessory product. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. So that's my Nintendo Switch collection right there, guys. Also, there's some pretty exciting news happening for me, hopefully in the next week and a half, two weeks. I was uh, gonna maybe announce it and tell you guys what it is, but I might keep it a secret. It's like a game changer, really exciting, um, a massive breakthrough for my brand and my channel. So I can't wait to share that with you guys in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already guys, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Nintendo Down Under. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Nintendo Down Under. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching and take care.